Okay, here's a overview of how to get logged on to a Chromebook. Um, there's a couple different options down below. You have shut down, obviously we'll turn it off. Add a user and browse on a guest. If you just quickly need to get on the internet without having to log in, browse on the guest is the quickest way you can do that. Um, but it doesn't allow you to get into any services that you may have uh, associated with your Google Apps account. On the right hand side also um, is some settings here. You can see what wireless um, you're connected to some accessibility features and notice that it is uh, managed by the Wilson School District Schools apps for education um, also the sound and how much battery you have left <coughs> so when I click add a user notice I do have a couple users on here the tech department has a user or super user account on there this is my personal Google account at any time you can just remove users it's not a big deal because everything's stored in the cloud and you add it back, you'll get everything you need back. So clicking add a user will bring up basically a Google Apps for Education sign-in. So remember it's at share.wilsonsd.org for school district BSD. And then it's your same password that you would need to use to get onto the network. And again notice that it is managed by the district. Okay, once you sign in, you'll see a basically like kind of a welcome screen. You can just close that. It used to be a tour, but uh, it's not there right now. Down here is your apps launcher. When you click on this, these are all the different apps you may have added to Google Chrome elsewhere, um, and you can add more to as well through the Chrome Web Store. It's basically like the App Store for Apple or the Play Store for Android devices. You can add different apps, for example. Um, Google Keep, the camera tool, some games, a calculator. So this is a quick little app to bring up a simple calculator. They're like simple programs, um, sometimes full-blown web programs, um, and sometimes just simple utilities like that uh, calculator. I'll come back to that in a second. Down here is a link just to Google Chrome. That's normally what you're going to do when you open up your Chromebook. Um, you're going to click and open up uh, a new tab in Chrome, and this allows you to go anywhere you'd like to go. So for instance, I could search Microsoft Search Engine Bing or go to Google or even go to the school district email if I'd like to for teachers or wherever you'd like to go on the web. So basically it's a web browser and that's the idea behind a Chromebook is you're on the web right away. The others are just shortcuts to create things right away. For instance, I can go shortcut right to Gmail. Um, it's just checking to make sure I'm logged in and then it opens up my school district Gmail account. Again, this is what the students have at Wilson uh, as well as teachers too as well. The others will actually just create a new document, um, a new spreadsheet, a new presentation or go to Google Play Music. A nice starting point is this Get Started guide that they provided for the Chromebook. I would highly suggest you going through this and it'll load up a simple web page um, that allows you to kind of get familiar with the Chromebook. So it kind of says, welcome to your Chromebook, Chromebook goodies. If you do a two-finger scroll, that's what I'm doing now. Um, listen to music, keep in touch, getting work done. These are all just different areas that you can work on. What I would suggest is first and foremost is go through the touchpad tips um, because it does do a little different of how the touchpad works compared to a PC laptop, it's very familiar to those who have a MacBook. Um, it's very similar to that. So if you do a click on this, um, it'll actually say try to click the logo. Okay, and it's just basically making you practice through. And now press with two fingers to do a right click, and it's done. You did it correctly, and then finally scroll up and down. Um, it shows that you picked up the basics of your touchpad. And you can kind of move to the left and to the right, which is basically just moving through the tutorial that's behind this that popped up. Um, the other one is your keyboard. I would suggest you learning about the keyboard shortcuts um, too as well. For example, Alt and Backspace is the way to delete things because um, there is no delete key, if you will. Control, Alt, and question mark brings up a map of your keyboards. It kind of explains those weird keys that are at the top of your keyboard. Um, so if I hold down the control key, for example, it shows me all the little shortcuts like undo, cut, copy, paste, most pe people are familiar with. Um, if I hold down alt, it'll show me those. If I hold down shift, it'll show me those. If I hold down control and alt, it'll show me those, or control and shift. So these are all the keyboard shortcuts. It's really nice to learn those. 
um, with a Chromebook to help you manage the device quicker and more efficiently. So they're the two that I would suggest right away, um, but as you want to learn more and more, like what about the files and how you can actually store files on this Chromebook locally if you need to download things. There's a file icon here to get to the background of the Chromebook and it shows you all the different files you may have downloaded. And since I just created this account, notice there is no downloads. Um, you also can access your Google Drive here too as well. Um, it'll actually take a little time to get into that. Um, it hasn't updated yet. So for instance, if I go to Chrome, and then if I go to drive.google.com, notice it redirects me to our at share.wilsonsd.org account and it actually accesses my Google Drive. And there's all the different files that I have stored on my Google Drive. Again, the nice feature is I can be on any of my devices and I can get to all my files here. Um, down on the right hand side to finish up this quick tutorial is um, kind of like the settings area if you will. Again, the Chromebook is quite simple. If you click on this area anywhere down here where your uh, picture is, you can hit sign out. Probably the first time you log on to the Chromebook, it's going to ask you to pick a, uh, an icon or take a picture yourself with the camera. Um, feel free to do so. Here's how you sign out. It tells you it's divide, uh, managed by Wilson School District. Here's where you can connect to other wirelesses. Um, if you can't find your wireless at home, then this is where you would click and find your wireless. So when you click it, it'll search for it. You can join your home network too as well. Um, Bluetooth volume settings here, but you do have some keyboard um, tools too that are pressing right now to manage this. And then the settings. Um, we're not going to get into those, but there's a lot of good stuff in the background of the settings here of how you want your Chromebook to work with um, yourself. Um, Alright, so hopefully that gives you a quick overview on how to get logged into a Chromebook and how to get started up. Uh, for anything, if you need to, you can just shut it off here as well. If you have any questions or help, that's where you can go with a question mark or sign out. If you notice, it quickly signs out and goes to the screen with the icons of the different users. I can show you quickly how quickly it can get back onto the net with the Chromebook. Again, the speed and the, the least time of login helps really in the instructional setting. You're not going to lose time in the instruction. So even if I would shut this thing off, it would only take about you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds before I'm back on. So the Chromebook just turned off. I'm pressing the power button. It's loading up the Chrome operating system, which is very light compared to your normal operating system. And you're already back to your login screen. So I can select my account and log in searching for the wireless probably takes the longest time and then notice it even takes me back where I left off on the web which is a nice uh, nice utility in the fact that I could have several tabs open and the next time I come all my tabs open back up where I left off all right hope that helps uh, for you getting at least onto the Chromebook enjoy surfing with it and creating